tragedy. What is this? I came here with all the enthusiasm and the vim to come and meet Hilda, just so I can ask for forgiveness and try and settle this thing. Is this your attitude? What's going on? Things have changed? There are only two reasons we are still here talking. The first is because I've come to realize that you are not the one who went on to that stupid Olivia. But she came on to you. Exactly. Exactly. It was never part of my plan. I, I didn't even think about it. She seduced me. She, she came up with all of this. And you, as the useless he goes who cannot control his libido and stay out of temptation fell woefully forward. Huh? Listen. I've exhumed all of the anger and I'm finally ready to solve this. I'm grateful. I'm grateful and I thank you for understanding. You know, Hilda is such an angel compared to the one I ended up with. To think that she gave me additional girls. Something I was running away from. Two girls. It took away all the peace and the love that I had when I was with Hilda. It just got me in this mess. The second reason is that, unlike most stupid men, you did not chase Hilda and the kids out of the house. Rather, you left the house for them. And this singular act alone has brought me to the point of realizing that you, Derek, are a good man. I mean, regardless of your inadequacies and all this nonsense that you have put yourself in. I, I realize that you still have some sort of sympathy left in you. Human sympathy. Yeah. I even built a bigger house. A bigger house. It's a really nice house. You should see it. I, I think Hilda and the girls and I can live in love and harmony and peace. It's a really nice place, you should see it. Really nice. We can live there in peace and harmony and like one big happy family. One big happy family. Yeah. Baby. I am not going to try and my actions because I was wrong whatever I did all that I did I was wrong I'm not going to try and explain why I did what I, what I did I'm not. I just want to plead with you to forgive me because I regret my actions I'm sorry I'm sorry it's, it was wrong of me to do can you just uh, look deep in your heart and see how you can forgive me please I'm sorry Oh, I'm sorry. Derek. Do you now realize that whatever baby a woman births, male or female, is exactly what her husband put in there? Yeah. Yes. 
do you also realize that it doesn't matter the sex of the baby, male or female, it doesn't matter. What matters is the quality of training the child gets. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you also, beyond any shadow of doubt, agree that the female child is as important as a male child. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I agree. I agree. To destroy a maiden of your land, you are here find one good. Okay. And one hundred thousand naira that you must have to present before the close of business today. For us to appease the land that you have desecrated with your life. Don't say anything to me. Because you prepared this. Yes. There is no way you are going to convince me that you were not part of this. Henceforth, you are no longer the you know who of this king. Ah! Please, my king. Pardon my father and I, please. This is punishment for the abomination that you have committed. Chiejina. Henceforth, Mkwosha, who has distinguished himself both in character and in high level of integrity, is now the Onohu of Opoluku Kingdom. No major. What I have just said here now is a statement made by the king and it stands irrevocable. Igwe. 